Well, hello again. We are looking at John 10 this morning, and we're looking at a passage that is famous because of the way that Jesus speaks about himself as the door of the sheep and the good shepherd. The title I have is An Assembly of Shepherds Who Follow Jesus. And in this chapter, we we find in verse 7 this wonderful verse, I, I am the door of the sheep, he said. I am the good shepherd. Jesus is not a, what, a thief or a robber who comes to steal or to destroy, but he has come in order to lay down his life that we might have life and abundant life. And he says, I know my own and my own know me. So he says, I lay down my life for the sheep that I may take it up again. So he's talking about the cross. He's talking about the resurrection. And he also is talking about the church, that not just the disciples in front of him now, but he says, I have other sheep and they will listen to my voice and there will be one flock and one shepherd. And then he says this, I I love these words, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Now, beginning in verse 30, uh, Jesus says some things about his relationship with the Father. He says, I and the Father are one. And when he said this, the Jews picked up stones to stone him. Now, recognize everybody here in this gospel, almost all are Jews. And so when it says the Jews picked up stones to stone him, it's not just singling singling out one people group out of all the world in order to bash that group, but to recognize, no, he's talking about the leaders of the Jews who were against him. They picked up stones to stone him. And so as they're ready to do that, to execute what they think is their their righteous judgment against him, he said, well, I've done many good works. So for which of them are you going to stone me? They said, we're not stoning you for your good works, but for blasphemy. Why? Because you being a man you make yourself uh, God. And Jesus answers them with the scriptures, actually from Psalm 82, um, he quotes, and in this, in this Psalm, the Lord says, I said you are gods. Now, if you go back and read the Psalm, Psalm 82, what you find is that this is a Psalm about judges who are rulers over the earth, but it's especially about corrupt judges And even those who are corrupt, when they're in these positions of authority, they operate as gods. They have a certain authority given to them by God. So so that the Lord himself used this word gods to speak about these judges, even corrupt judges. And he said, look, if, if the scriptures can say that about judges, people, men, then what are you going to say about the one that the Father consecrated and sent into the world? Uh, Because this is what uh, God has done. He sent Jesus into the world, and especially this one who does the works that the Father does. Uh, He says this very clearly, the Father is in me and I am in the Father. So the point of this passage is that Jesus is the door to God. He is the good shepherd. And as he himself says, I and the Father are one. So how do we apply it? Number one, of course, enter by the door. Know Jesus and be known. And connected to this is the idea, I think, of knowing a pastor and being known by a pastor. That yes, there are others within the church that are uh, helpful ambassadors for Christ. And they lead you to the door. This morning, I received an email from one of you who is uh, involved in two different churches, and she was thanking both pastors in one email. And I thought, well, that's perfect. Uh, Know a pastor, at least one, maybe two, and be known by them. And then secondly, grow as a good shepherd, that you are actually, actually shepherding other people. And the church is really an assembly that both follows and leads. So be willing to shepherd others to the good shepherd. Let us pray. 
Glorious Savior, we have entered your family through the Son of God, and we hear his voice in the scriptures, and we know the scriptures cannot be broken. Teach us to follow and to lead others. We know, O oh Lord Jesus, that you and the Father are one. And we pray to the Father through the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day.